Hi, I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you what my dad showed me about how to diagnose problems with your home AC system, particularly the outside unit. In our case, the inside unit of our AC system is working perfectly. However, on the outside, while the fan is working perfectly, my dad says he doesn't hear any noise coming from the compressor. So my dad's not an expert in AC systems, but he's worked on a couple of AC and HVAC systems in the past. And so he wants to use this opportunity to teach me a bit about the safety of working with these uh, electronic components. And also to get some field work because I'm doing, so, I'm doing electrical and mechanical engineering at Harvard. And so me and my dad share this belief that it's important for all engineers to get at least a bit of uh, hands-on experience. Because while we might not be, you know, when we're, when we're doing our jobs, we might not actually be installing the components, but it's important for us to design the components to be easy to install. And so this video is more so for me to look back to in the future and refer to whenever I have to fix our home's AC system. All right, so we're going to open our breaker box here. Just need to push down this button, comes down and swings out. Other houses might be different, but that's ours. And now we want to take out the breaker. In our case, it's a little piece that you can take out. Uh, in some cases, you might have to take it out uniquely, like you need to push it in and then you can pull it out. And some houses even have a switch that you just flip off. Okay, so let's use our voltage pen to test for current. So there's live wires from the top side. Up on the bottom, looks like there's nothing. So we should be safe to go. Okay, so now we're going to open up our AC unit. And there are four bolts. We've already taken out the two at the bottom and two at the top. So just gonna get a drill and pick them out. Let's see if I can take these out before I pry it open. Okay, and let's pry it out. So now we have access to the inside of our AC unit. All right, so a bit of anatomy here. This is the fan. Uh, that is what blows and circulates the air. This is the compressor. This is the control box, which has all the sort of electronic components like the contactor, which we'll talk about later. This little junction for wires to connect. And finally, the capacitor. And so we think the issue is this capacitor here. So, I mean, hope, we hope that the issue is the capacitor. Uh, and not the compressor, because that would be expensive to replace. And we tested this uh, capacitor for its capacitance. We found that it was out of tolerance. And so we're going to try to replace it with this new capacitor and see if that fixes our issue. So capacitors store a lot of energy. And when we're dealing with capacitors, we want to make sure that before we work with them, we release that energy. So first off, you want to wear some rubber gloves to protect yourself. And ideally, you take a screwdriver with a rubber handle, and you would connect all the leads to release that charge. In our case, you can see that there, we're not able to actually connect our leads because of this barrier. So instead, we're going to use alligator clips to connect our leads. Okay, so we're we're sure that it's the capacitor that's the issue, so we're going to take it out and replace it with a new one. So we're going to take out these two screws keeping it in. Okay. 